Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I will be shooting this video in English just because a lot of international viewers actually DM'd me and say that they wanted my videos to be in English. So buat kalian yang kesusahan bahasa Inggris dan pengen video ini dalam bahasa Indonesia, kalian tinggal pencet subtitle karena udah aku sediain subtitle dalam bahasa Indonesia. Honestly, I never thought my videos would go international, but thanks. My hair is kind of wild because my hair dryer broke and I washed my hair like a few hours ago but since my hair is so thick it dries up so long so I apologize for that let's just leave my hair be okay let's start with this video so in this video as you can see from the title it is an online plus thrift shopping haul during this quarantine period we are not allowed to go window shopping like shopping in malls and such so i shifted online i shopped online and i also online thrifted i have several items to show you guys this is just a highly requested video it's not me bragging in any shape or form it's not like a huge haul it's just like i'm just compiling things that i bought like for the past few months. There are also some things that I bought quite some time ago but a lot of you guys asked where I got it. I'm in my brother's room right now. I actually tidied up my room yesterday and I wanted to make a room tour for you guys but uh, my air conditioner broke. So my hair dryer broke, my air conditioner broke. I am now in my brother's room. So that's for a different setting today. Let's just get into the video. The first item that I bought, I'm pretty sure just by the look of it, you guys know where it's from because it's like worldwide famous right now. I'm pretty sure it's so hyped up. But I got this tank. It's from Curve. Over here, it's from Curve. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this brand. They sell different types of basics and these are just one of their best selling ones. These are called the Pasta Tank. I'm pretty sure it's around 150. I got mine in this size small. These can stretch pretty well. I feel like like even if you're a size M, I feel like a size S could still fit. Like I mean it doesn't stretch like all the way to L, but then it stretches pretty well, I feel like. It shapes your body and it's a bit cropped over here. So if you guys aren't wearing tops like these, you could actually pair them with turtlenecks, like a black turtleneck and then this over it. I love how versatile this top is. We could dress up, we could dress down, like you can just pop on a blazer and then you can go for a formal meeting or something like that. Or you can just pair it with some track pants like I did in this clip. Because track pants are everything guys, I'm serious. Next thing is still from Curve. I have their black gen tank. It's called gen tank. I have it in size medium. It's like a Eunuch. This is also cropped. A lot of their basics are cropped. I got this in the size medium because different items have different sizes. Like, I don't understand why. Their pasta tank size chart is different from their gen tank size chart. So I got my pasta tank in size S and this is in size M. I have no idea why they do that, but that's just how it is. I also got another one. I think this color is called Tasmania in their catalog. I'm not sure, but it's just a warm brown color. The thing that makes this tank different from the black one is the material i feel like this is their new material as they said on their instagram this stretches more than the black one this is like yeah this stretches more and the material is much better than the black one so as of what i know they have two different materials the old one and the new one and i'm pretty sure they're producing all the their new items in this material i've tried both of them on and i feel way more comfortable wearing this because this is not stiff the black one i'm being honest it's quite stiff on your body but the, this one it just follows like your body like it's like second skin all right so that's all for the basics now we move on to cardigans so this is the first cardigan i got this is thrifted and i got this off get my shirt honestly i don't know how i feel about this cardigan the material is really soft i love it but then once i use it, it kind of like scrunch up it's quite heavy too considering that this is a cardigan i'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be this heavy the material is soft though 
This is the brand. It's from Kobe Lettuce. And I'm pretty sure this is a pretty famous brand. I'm not too sure about it, but this is thrifted. This is a bit too long for me, so usually when I use it, I tie it to the back and then I fold it in. So it's cropped. I do that because this is very long. I got this for 100,000. I don't remember, but it's a pretty good deal. This is in the color lilac, but I'm pretty sure this is more to a pink color. Okay, so the next cardigan I got is from Less Fashion Waste. This is also thrifted. It's a green cardigan. Green looks like a lettuce green. I love it so much. I cropped this myself because when I got it, it's a bit long. The material is nice for it to be cropped, unlike this one where it scrunches up and it's heavy so i don't think it'll look good cropped but but i cropped this one and it looks so cute i got this for around eighty thousand, so it's a pretty good deal i'm not sure where this brand is from i don't know what this brand is and i love how when you wear this your shoulders right away becomes 90 degrees because it has like this uh puff thing like it's not like a big puff on your shoulder it really gives you a nice posture i don't know i just think of it that way okay so the next item i got is also thrifted and a lot of you guys have been asking me where i got this from although i bought it some time ago but a lot of you guys have been wondering where i got this from this is a blazer it's a white blazer it almost looks like a lab coat i feel like but yeah this is also thrifted and i got it from get my shirt it's a very pretty white blazer and guess how much I bought this for? I bought it for 160000 I think. But that price for a blazer, that's a steal. Honestly, when worn, I have mixed feelings about this because it's nice only if I scrunch up the sleeves and only in a certain angle. But yeah, I mean like it's a... It's a pretty good deal for 160000 This is very versatile. You can dress it up or dress it down. I feel like this is an essential in our closet, like black and white blazers, because they suit anything. It gives an accent to your whole outfit. Alright, so that's it for the tops and outers. Now I'm going to move on to pants, trousers, bottoms. The first pair I got is online shopped from Pomelo. I'm pretty sure you guys know Pomelo Fashion. They have their own app where you can buy their outfits from. I got this quite some time ago but again a lot of you guys ask where I got my jeans from. This is a black boyfriend jean. I got this in size 26 because I'm usually a size 26 but their 26 is quite big on me but I'm sure I'm a 26. I don't know, they also have different size charts for different outfits. Before buying from Pomelo, I really, really advise you to measure with a measuring tape. And instead of right away clicking their small, medium, large, or extra large size, you should really read their size charts. Every outfit differs. Better get it right. Because honestly, Pomelo's outfits are pretty pricey these days. They used to not be this pricey, but better make the best out of your purchase. Jeans, I got it for around 400,000. So yeah, I don't know if that's a steal, but we all need black jeans in our lives, right? I need to alter these jeans though for me to be able to wear it comfortably because when I wear it, it just slips down because it's too big on me. All right, so the next pair of jeans I got is thrifted. I thrifted these from uh, I forgot I need to check okay so I thrifted these jeans from summer shit underscore I apologize for cursing but that's their username these are Levi Strauss 505 and I got it in the size 30 I know it's way too big on me but I will be altering these jeans along with the pomelo jeans earlier I love the fit on me especially in the hip area. This feels like a wide leg jeans when I wear it just because it's size 30 so the hips and the length and the width of these parts because I got it for a size larger. The waist is again too big on me so it just slips off whenever I use it so I must alter this before I wear it anywhere. I'm really happy with this purchase though. For a Levi jeans, steal! Okay so the next item I thrifted is this plaid trousers. I love how this looks on me. 
I don't remember where I got it from. Let me try to recall. Ah, uh, I hate being forgetful. Okay, I remembered where I got this from. It's from you Poppin on Instagram and I forgot how much I got it for. Okay, I found it. I got it for 170,000. This is also a very cool material so my legs doesn't feel hot. As you can see, it has like two layers up to the thigh. This layer is kind of see-through but I don't mind because it's not that bad. Like, when you wear it, it's not that bad, I promise. This is so cute! There's something about plaids that I love. Like, I have like a few plaid pants, and a plaid bag, and a plaid headband. It has no brand though, it just has this tag which indicates the size. It's in numbers though, so I'm not sure if this is a small, medium, or large. I just got it and it fits me perfectly, so... Love that for me! Okay, so the next pair of pants I got. This is one of my favorites out of everything that I got. Is this corduroy brown pants. It fits me perfectly. It hugs my legs like it's second skin. I say that a lot probably, but it really does feel like it. I love corduroy if you guys are wondering. I have a corduroy scrunchie which I left in my room. This looks like a tree bark though. Especially if you pair it with this, you'll look like a walking tree. Yeah, this really fits perfectly in the hips as well. I have pretty wide hips and it's not that proportional with my waist because I have a pretty small waist and pretty wide hips. But this one, fits me perfectly even though this can't be stretched. I also got it in an online thrift store, the Kanaka, and I got it for around... I got it for 99000 including shipping fee. Alright, the next bottoms I have isn't pants, but I got a skirt. This is a very cute skirt. I thrifted this from Off The Rack. It's cute! It's a mini skirt skirt from H&M but then I got it off off the rack you right away know it's H&M when it has this tag I got it in size extra small although honestly I'm not that small guys but then this just fits me well because again I have a pretty small waist but then since this is a skirt I don't really have to worry about the hips because I mean it's a skirt it flows down I love how this looks on me because it really accentuates my leg. I have long legs because I'm pretty tall but then this just adds more height and this doesn't fall too short on me as well even though it looks pretty short but it's just okay like I still have to wear safety shorts under though because like I mean who doesn't? And I got this for 70,000 guys. If you buy it right off the official store it could be priced much higher but I got it for 70,000 off a thrift store. Alright so that's it for the outfits. Next I have some accessories. So if you guys noticed earlier I paired some of the outfits with a shoulder bag. I got two. Let me just show you guys this one first. I got this of We Wear Zaya. I got it for a hundred and $50,000. Pretty sure there are stores which sells them in a cheaper price. But yeah, I expected it to be smaller but then when it came, I was actually quite surprised because it's pretty big. And if you know me, I always carry a water bottle around because I drink like a camel. So yeah, this fits my water bottle. It fits. These bags are a trend right now, but if it wasn't a trend, I would probably get it for myself because this can be paired with anything. So the next bag is this leopard shoulder bag, and it has a pretty long strap. I'm not sure how to adjust it, or maybe you can't. Yeah, you can't adjust it. It's like that. I got this in the same online thrift store as where I got my corduroy pants from the Kanaka. These aren't thrifted even though they are being sold in a thrift store. I actually opened pre-order for these bags and they are shipped from China. I don't remember. These are honestly quite pricey. These are 179000 excluding shipping. I was actually contemplating which design to get. There's a plaid design which I love. But then when I asked my friend which one to get, she recommended me this one. The leopard designs are timeless and I feel like the plaid design trend could just fade away any moment. I got this just because it's 
timeless. The size is much smaller than this one though, like a difference. And the last thing I got is from Chloe Bali. So they actually have an offline store based in Bali. But then I got this item online. This is a cheetah printed belt. I got it quite some time ago though. But then a lot of you guys again asked me where I got this from. I got it for a pretty cheap price. It's only around 55000 excluding shipping. It's pretty good quality. It's very sturdy. But the only drawback is that the holes that are punched in the belt comes up only to this much these holes are self-punched and my waist is about here if you watch my holiday vlog in solo you probably see the clip where i uh, had to go to a department store to punch these but during that time i was wearing jeans so the the last hole punched was up to here but then actually my waist is like here so I need to punch them again. But that's it for my online haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. And this video is actually highly requested. So thank you guys for requesting this video. If you have any other video requests, you can just comment down below what video you want to see from me next. I actually really enjoyed making this video. I also enjoyed the shopping process. Alright, so don't forget to like this video. Comment down below what video you want to see from me next. And also subscribe to my channel. Don't forget also to follow my Instagram at KJNathania because I update on my Instagram daily. So yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!